Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the legendary York Hall here in Bethnal Green in the east end of London, England. We are live on Sky Sports and DAZN for the JD Next Gen main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBA Continental Welterweight Championship. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing, sponsored by JD Sports and StubHub. This bout is sanctioned under the auspices of the British Boxing Board of Control. The board representative is Des Reese and the World Boxing Association. The president is Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. The supervisor is Mr. Robert Smith. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. From Spain, Jesus Morata Garcia. From Finland, Erki Marinen. And from England, Terry O'Connor. Your timekeeper from England is British Boxing Hall of Famer, Mr. Bob Edgeworth. And also from England, at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, A-star referee, Mr. Bob Williams. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world, to the four corners of this ring, right here in York Hall, in the east end of London, England. This is it. The time has come. The fight starts now! Introducing first the challenger, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his head trainer, Pekka Maki. He wears the white and blue. He scaled at the welterweight limit of 10 stone, 7 pounds, bang on. His professional record, 24 wins, 6 defeats, 1 draw. He has 9 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Tampere, Finland, here is the formidable and perilous challenger. Introducing Yussi, the Iceman Koivala. Koivala. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Tony Sims. He wears the solid black trunks. His professional record, a perfect one. 14 fights, 14 victories. He has nine wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Ilford, ranked number eight in the world by the WBA. He is the son of the legend and the reigning, defending, undefeated WBA Continental Welterweight Champion. Introducing Connor, the Destroyer, Ben. Ben. Okay, lads, obey my commands. In the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times, touch gloves. Interesting. Well, here we go then. Great sense of anticipation. Can Connor Ben break down the very capable and the very defensively minded UC Koivula? Or will the Finn make him look bad? Only stop twice, Koivula. Second go. But has always been found wanting at the very, very highest level. And he catches Connor Ben with a right hand within the first two or three seconds just to let him know he's not here for the ride. That was a sharp start by Koivula. Yeah. Expected him to go into his shell straight away, but uh, he's fooled us all there. Maybe we will get a tear up here. As well. Yeah. Koivula's certainly coming to uh, upset a few plans. Yeah. Big, strong looking fellow as well, isn't he? Very, very experienced. Uh, well, lost. Three European title challenges, but uh, he lost against decent opponents. Yeah, he's, the been Bundu. There, Nick. he's been yeah. there for all those, for all yeah. those major title fights. It's the big, big negative against uh, Koivula when you really dig into his record, he hasn't beaten an opponent with a winning record in four years. Oh, oh that's uh, Ben there. Well, ben has made a very, very shaky start here. Yeah, that was a good right hand. A solid jab as well. Yeah, he's really been taken out of his stride now. Yeah. Really taken out of his stride. Totally. Yeah, he's on the defensive yeah. now. It's a couple of times he's been backed up here, Connor Bear. Looks very shaky. And with a couple of decent body shots here, Ben, as he just needs to settle down. That is not the start he would have wanted. 
Yeah, yeah, he, looks, he, really, he looks a weight class above Conor Ben as well. He does, doesn't he? he? Sure does, yeah. I think he's physically a big compared to Conor Ben. Oh, well to wait much of his career. I don't think he's boiled down for this one. Yeah, like it doesn't look like it. He looks pretty, pretty thick and solid. I tell you, the um, UC Koivala, who went the distance in Canada against Samuel Vargas, losing a split decision yeah. 18 months ago. That UC Koivala gives yeah. Conor Ben all he can handle. Yeah, very much so. And in the, is Conor Ben a welterweight? Conor Ben doesn't physically look like yeah. a welterweight. And uh, Koivala is certainly going to dish out the rough stuff. Just testing Bob Williams there to see uh, how he would respond. I wouldn't do that. Bob Williams is a no-nonsense firefighter in his day job. And he'll deal with uh, anybody taking liberties in that ring. Koivala is certainly very happy and uh, he's getting involved again in the referee because there's stuff going on here. It's certainly gone off a bit of a spot in this one, isn't there? Yeah. Didn't see this in the build up. He's not messing about at all. He's made a really fast start. It's almost like he's trying to send a signal to Conor Ben. And did you see Ben looking over at Tony Sims there? Yeah. As if like, what on earth is this? Yeah. He's not quite been ready for this, has he? Oh, the forearm going in there yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, he's been very rough and and rightly so, you know, why should he why should he yeah. come over here and you know just be the full guy? Yeah, be an opponent, yeah. That's the right attitude you would you would expect from your fighter. Lovely jab as well. Yeah. Moving in and out of range, with ease, relative ease. Really some corner bends and experience here. Let's hope his power can can come through. Maybe get him out of a little bit of trouble. His youth and exuberance. Well, he's going to have to work this fella around. I mean, we haven't really seen it in this round, but Koivala likes to switch hit as well. He can be a real handful. He can mess you around. But the way he started that fight, the thing, well, he's going to be there for Conor Ben. Conor Ben will be able to find some uh, some gaps, but Koivala certainly... Yeah, right from the first three seconds, it was like, hey, I'm here, this is business. Very impressive start. He certainly won that round for me, Nick. Yeah, like a marquee. Running the corner. Tony Sims running that corner. And, uh, reading the right attack by the look of it. Again, we can't hear him. The sound man's given up. Got to work with the Spice Girls. Well, he did settle down there, the longer that round went on. Second round, round two. Shot right hand to start. Let's see if he uh, makes a, a sharp start to the second round as well. Good right hand from Kobala again. Ben looking to respond. Slinging an uppercut in here. Certainly entertaining. I, I did worry that Koivler would come and spoil and be a real nuisance, and he might yet if uh, Ben's power troubles him. But at the moment, he's looking like to looking like he just wants to rough Connor Ben up a little bit. Yep. So Bob Williams's patience is wearing thin. Very very early in the fight. Not sure if Koivler can maintain this work rate. This tempo will be hard for him to, to maintain. But just now, certainly, he's, uh, he's giving Conor Ben lots to think about, isn't he? Yeah, and he's had these periods of inactivity with his hand problems as well, Conor Ben. Every fighter has hand problems. He just goes with the turf. And I wonder, you know, when you've had the problems that Ben has had. Oh, 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 he's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Nailed him there. Oh, can't left it. it was all. It's the signature shot of Conor Ben, that left hook. And uh, Koivala has felt the force there. And the style that he's brought to this fight, he's there, to, he's, he's open. And Conor Ben has obviously decided it's time to go for broke here. And Koivala is only going to yeah. feel more of this. Oh, that yeah. might just be it, you know. That might be all over right there. Can he recover? Look at this, there's so much time in the round, even if he is allowed to carry on. Will he be given a chance? He's in terrible, terrible trouble here. And that's a good long rest for him, but Ben will look to finish him here. Surely one more, and that'll be that. The legs nearly went there. Ben swarming all over him. 
Koivula just trying to draw on his experience, and that'll do it. Bob Williams says enough is enough, and Conor Ben finish. came in saying, I want to make a statement. He made one. Yeah, he sure did. He had a shaky first round, but look at that. He came back just a bit like his dad, is that right or not? His, you know, shaky first round, took his fair share of shots, came back and took his opponent apart. This is the thing with Conor Ben, he brings excitement and energy. Yeah. He's, he's flawed, but my goodness me, the upside on, on him is huge. Totally dismantled him in the end. Well, it was that first knockdown, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. it was it was his courage and his instincts that were keeping him going, Koivler, after that, because he, he, he was done, he was unhinged after that. No recovering from that. I mean, that is one thing that got passed down the genes. Nigel oh, yeah. Ben had freakish power. He's yeah. passed some of that on to yeah, the little fella. He sure has, yeah. The little fella. And very, very dangerous under under pressure, Nigel yes. Ben was. Oh, very yes. dangerous. And look, so is Conor Ben. Very dangerous under pressure. He's happy with himself. I mean, he, it was interesting during the build up to this fight. He was just saying, look, I, I, I feel like I've got to go out and prove a point. Yeah. I don't know what, quite what point he needs to prove yeah. because he's done everything right in his last couple of fights for me. But he, he wanted to put on a show. Put, a, put an exclamation mark on the end of it. He's certainly done that here. Koivl is getting a bit of oxygen right now, just a precaution, hopefully. But he's got the power that will unhinge yeah. anybody. Yeah. I had a feeling this fella, at his best, could, could have caused Conor Bent a lot of problems. And as you say, in that first round, it looked like it was heading it that like way. It was, yeah, but it certainly did. But that left hook is a great leveller. And here it is again. And there he yep. is going forward, wow. and that's it. On the back foot as well. See you later. All over. I was surprised. I have to say, I was surprised when Koivula came out the way he did because you're going to leave yourself open, and with a big puncher like Conor Ben, why would you take that chance? Yeah, of course. He's so good at spoiling, covering up, switch hitting, making you miss, making you look bad. Yeah. But he's obviously just said, "Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to nick a decision here. Let's just go for broke." Maybe why he's made such a fast start, Nick. Yeah. Mm. He's just tried to get it on, and maybe just try and get Conor Ben out there early. Well, the one time he looked bad against Cedric Payne, he was on the floor twice in the first, and I think that's exactly what the finish game plan was there. Jump on him. Get yeah, him out. Right from the start, yeah. But if it doesn't work, you're in a world of trouble. And he was leaving, even in that first round, he was leaving himself open. He was, he was. Koiba. But he did land his fair share of shots. Yeah, but you leave you leave yourself open against Conor Bent. It's a ticking time bomb you're in with. It's going to yeah, blow up on of you. Of course. That just blew up big time. Well, at 35, end of the line, you would think now for UC Koivula. Certainly not for you. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bob Williams calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes of round number two. Your winner by RSC. He's still undefeated and still the WBA Continental Welterweight Champion fighting out of Ilford, the son of the legend, Connor the Destroyer. Yeah!